Astronaut Scott Kelly holds the U.S. record for time spent in space. In March 2015, he blasted off for the International Space Station, where he logged a record through 340 continuous days in orbit. While executing his regular duties, he also took time to capture some incredible images of planet Earth, as well as life aboard his orbiting home. They're collected in the new photo book, Infinite Wonder, and astronauts' photographs from a year in space. I had the chance to talk to Scott Kelly here in New York. The engine's igniting. Just before his launch into space in 2015, astronaut Scott Kelly got a shout out during President Obama's State of the Union address. Scott Kelly will begin a year long stay in space. So good luck, Captain. Make sure to Instagram it. And lift off. The year in space starts now. Kelly, Kornienko, and Padaka on their way towards the International Space Station. Kelly would take the president's Instagram challenge to heart. On his fourth mission into space, from 250 miles up, he would point his camera at the planet. You know, with that long lens, it kind of helps you feel a little bit connected to the Earth when you could see yeah. very, uh, almost see what's going on down there in some ways. Kelly has uh, collected those space light. photographs in his new book, Infinite Wonder. The reason I put that picture in there, I think it really gives a, a sense of perspective when you're in the, on the space station for how, it, when you're looking straight down, how close the Earth might, might appear. And then you see continents and uh, countries without any political borders. It gives you the impression that, you know, we're all in this thing called humanity together. It offered a unique vantage point on the vastness of it all, from Manhattan to the Milky Way. Makes you feel kind of insignificant, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Actually, the whole experience makes you feel insignificant. On this mission, Kelly would spend 340 days in space. I believe in the importance of flying in space and, uh, you know, the research we do. Some of his photography was for scientific purposes, but most was for his own pleasure. But sometimes it was as simple as, hey, that spot looks a little interesting down there, you know, some dry lake bed in Iran as an example. Let me take a picture of it and see what it looks like. Through his lens, he found a lake in Bolivia, wetlands in Brazil, mountain meeting desert in Algeria, these valleys full of iron ore and manganese in Libya, a lake in Western Australia. Some of the landscapes almost look like abstract paintings. Yeah, and that's what I, that's kind of what I wanted them to look like. Kelly became a master of microgravity photography. So how difficult actually was it to take those pictures? So you're looking at a small spot on the Earth, and the Earth is going by at five miles a second. You know, it takes a very steady uh, tracking motion to, to be able to take a, a picture that's not blurry. A lot of people, when they first get to space, you're very clumsy. It's interesting when you see a bunch of new astronauts show up, they're like, bouncing off the walls, <laughs> stuff flying all over the place. It's like, yeah. <laughs> the book also offers a look at life in space. You look very comfortable here. Yeah, I'm floating. <laughs> That's me outside yeah. the uh, space station on a spacewalk. Oh, look at this guy. Yep. This is my brother. This is my brother losing on <laughs> Celebrity Jeopardy to Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching up in space. I'm watching. Yeah. I'm, Kelly, who now has well over a million Instagram followers, shared many of his photos online. It was great because you could see, you could see the reaction you would get from people. You could see the comments. I, I would read the comments sometimes. One follower commented on the plants he was growing on the space station. Some guy said, you are no Mark Watney. Referring Which, to? The guy in the marsh and the botanist that, you know, saved himself by growing potatoes. And after that, you know, fights on. <laughs> I was going to do whatever it took to make those flowers look better. He succeeded and posted this picture to prove it. Is this you coming back? Yeah, this is coming back. Looks pretty peaceful floating down to Earth until you crash into it. He returned with a new perspective on his home planet. Scott Kelly back on Mother Earth after 340 days in space. Dan. As a fellow astronaut told him, the Earth never disappoints. Earth is a beautiful place, uh, whether, you know, you're looking at it, you know, all in one view or 
with a really up close lens. Speaking of lenses, he landed with his glasses on. Yeah, isn't Did that you interesting? That? Yeah, isn't that interesting? Really cool. You know, it's funny. He he didn't he didn't take himself seriously as a photographer until he had to train to do it because you do it to record things in space. And then he was and then he just took off and he became he's a terrific photographer. The pictures are so inspiring, and yeah. it also inspires young people to see what life is like for him in space as an astronaut. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Talented. Stuff. Beautiful stuff. He's got one heck of a job. Yeah. Just like us.